What's up guys? I just got home from an amazing dive. Uh, today we dove at a dive site called Massoplod North and I cannot wait to show you what I saw. I saw one of my favorite creatures in the sea, the robust ghost pipefish. And I, taught, I saw two different species, both were couples. <laughs> so I saw some other stuff, I'll show you that as well. But here's the robust ghost pipefish from today's dive with Liquid Dumaguete. Kevin is so happy to see me. Uh, enjoy. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Although I'm looking for something a little more interesting, it's kind of hard to pass up all the other critters I find, like this puffer fish or whatever this thing is. Here you can see me trying really hard to zoom in on this really tiny Shaun the Sheep nudie break. It's just impossible. He's about half the size of a BB, so I just give up. Some stuff like this peacock tail and enemy shrimp are a little easier since they're about a quarter inch long and they're perfect subjects. But what I really like to see was about 10 or 15 feet to the left. The robust ghost pipefish. As you can see, these guys are perfectly camouflaged to mimic dead seagrass and it makes them really interesting to film. These guys happen to be out in the barren sand, but you'll usually find them in all kinds of seagrass. These are just one of the colors I saw today. There are about 200 species of pipefish in the world and then there's about 6 species of ghost pipefish. The most popular and exotic being the ornate ghost pipe. But this robust ghost pipe fish is just as cool, I think. So this next couple of robust ghost pipe fish were a lot harder to film. The first ones were almost boring because they just sat in front of my camera, uh, which was usually good. But the second ones were a lot more difficult. They would just, they would just kind of drift away the whole time, getting out of my light or out of frame, and I would just have to keep moving, keep moving, and which is kind of hard to do with video because then it gets shaky, and. I couldn't set up the tripod or anything. Like right here, you can see they would stop. So I would get excited and I'd put down the tripod and get set, uh, try to zoom in and focus, and then they would start moving again. So it's hard to stay focused and in frame and everything because they just kind of slowly kept drifting away. So, but that's okay. I just kind of followed them around forever and as you can see, these guys blend in really good with the green seagrass around it. I think this clip here is kind of funny because it's so bad. Um, they kept moving and they're so close to the ground that I finally just stopped looking in the monitor and just kind of followed them with the camera rolling. And so I w they weren't always framed very good. But that's kind of my new style uh, in this new series that I'm doing where everything's just unedited and it's it's just as much about the species as it is about me learning to film and and the process of filming underwater and just how it goes. I've made documentaries. I can put the link in the description where everything's so polished and perfect and everything. Um, but this one, I just like to un like to have it unedited and show you exactly uh what i'm seeing so yeah this is not a perfect shot that's for sure
So thank you guys for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I got lots more videos coming out every week about more species that I find on my dives. See you on the next one.